Welcome back to another video in the series of IGCSE Maths Curriculum. Now, in the previous video, guys, I taught you guys on how to use the angle properties when a transversal line intersects parallel lines and finding the unknown angle. Now, in this video, we will be looking at more difficult questions. Now, let's get to it, guys. All right, so let's take a look at this question. So by looking at this, we know that angle R is equal to 45 degrees because angle R is corresponding to this angle right here, right guys? So our angle R is 45 degrees. Now let's go ahead and find angle P, all right? So angle P is also equal to 45 degrees because angle P is the alternate angle of this 45 degrees, all right guys? Now, if you don't know about the angle property, I will highly suggest you to go to this video and watch the entire video and come back here, all right, guys? Now, since we have found angle P, which is also 45 degrees, we can easily find angle Q, right? Angle Q and angle P form a straight line. So let's write that down. Angle Q plus angle P is equal to 180 degrees, right, guys? Now, we know angle P is 45 degrees, so angle Q plus 45 is equal to 180. Now, if we subtract both sides in uh, 45, we have angle Q is equal to 180 minus 45, which is equal to 135 degrees, right, guys? So angle Q is equal to 135 degrees. Now, the remaining, guys, is pretty straightforward. We know that angle S is corresponding to angle p right so angle s is also equal to 45 degrees this is also equal to 45 degrees and we know that angle t and angle q are alternate angles so they are equal right so angle t therefore is equal to 135 degrees all right guys now let's go ahead to the next question now in these kind of cases guys if it makes it easier for you to just make these lines a bit longer you can go ahead and do that because in some cases for some students by doing this they are able to solve the question with no problem at all all right guys now angle e guys we see that angle e is the alternate angle of angle 30 degrees right so angle e is equal to 30 degrees right guys now once we find angle E, we can immediately find this angle, right? We can immediately find this angle. Or you can also use the alternate angle to find angle D straight away. But let me use uh, two different methods so that you can understand it in two different methods. So let's take a look at this guy. So let me call this angle X, all right? So angle X plus 30 plus 70 forms a triangle, right? So using the sum of angles in a triangle, we know all of this adds up to 180 degrees right so angle x plus 30 right plus 70 is equal to 180 degrees right guys so angle x plus 100 is equal to 180 therefore angle x is equal to 80 degrees right guys so this is equal to 80 degrees now we know that this angle will be vertically opposite to angle x so this will also be 80 degrees right guys now to go ahead and find angle d again use the sum of the angles in a triangle so angle d plus 30 plus 80 is equal to 180 right guys angle d plus 110 is equal to 180 so angle d if we subtract both sides at 110 we will have it 70 degrees right so angle d is equal to 70 degrees but we can also see that, as I mentioned before using this method, that angle D is also the alternate angle to angle 70 degrees. So whichever method you use, guys, the final answer would be the same. I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And if you did, do not forget to hit on the like button and consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future maths videos. Until next time, guys, have a nice day.